I wanted to start this vlog today at home because I'm making French toast and I just did the nastiest thing. Well, I hope it's not the nastiest thing. I cracked the eggs in my bowl and everything to get it all ready to make the, the French toast and I put a little dash of vanilla extract in ours. I wasn't paying attention. Sarah just woke up talking to her. Pulled the vanilla extract in there and it came out clear and I was like, what? It was banana flavor extract. So. Let's see how this goes. Here's the taste test to see if these taste good or if they taste like bananas. I don't know if you heard Sarah, she just pointed out it could be like bananas foster. And it is, you can taste the banana flavoring, but I, I think it's good. But these are for Sarah. And we got this, this pure Ohio maple syrup from one of our viewers, so thank you again. Ooh. This is Sarah in her element. Sunday morning, eating breakfast, editing a vlog. Mm -hmm. How are the how's the French toast? What? Is it weird with the banana flavor? Mm -mm. And that made me a nice little old breakfast burrito right here. She smells the breakfast. Good afternoon, everybody. Sarah's having a snack. We are at. Hollywood Studios. We're double dipped in this weekend. But it's because Fantastic Fridays is awesome, but with getting off work and studios closing early, by the time we get home, by the time I get home from work, we eat dinner and we get to the park, we have to go straight there. So we wanted to come and actually enjoy some of the attractions at the park. I don't think I'm going to record the whole thing, but Sarah and myself, we jam out during this. This is the third time we've seen it Frozen. Third. This will be the third time we'll be singing Frozen, and sing along, and we have, a, we have a good time. We had the CD in our car for a long period of time, and so it brings out the car jamming us. I think we went from like the Frozen soundtrack for a couple years to the Hamilton soundtrack that's been in our car for a year, a year now. Like, that's, that's all, all we listen to. No radio, no nothing, uh, just the Hamilton soundtrack. From CD1 to CD2, back to CD1, back to CD2. Hey, like we like. Ready to sing? Can I sing your heart and soul? Oh my god, tired in here. It's the air conditioning and the dim lights. Princess Anna never would have made it up the North Mountain without my help. Oh, well, not to mention. You liked her. You want to kiss her. You want to tighten oh, yeah. her. You're all about the braids, about the braids. <laughs> and you know, I think we still have time for one rousing reprise. Good, and royal historians. And I don't know why, but two, that's the, that was the third time we did that show. Two of the three times we've left the show and walked out to the Little Jedi's. 
We came to check out the construction over here by Muppets and they, I don't know when they did it, but they added this entire wall wasn't here before. Like there was benches over there that I used to stand on to try to see over there. Can you, can I hop, can I throw you over the fence, please? Yep, they've started breaking down, like ripping up the floor of everything else over there, so it'll be interesting to see how that develops. I heard a rumor they're gonna bring back the scene in the rain umbrella. She's lying right now. Straight, she just wants that to come back. But that would be nice if it did, but can't be spreading fake lies. We're heading over to, uh, what's it called? Beauty and the Beast. What did we just do? Construction. Oh yeah, we looked at the construction. Sorry, we got confused because our friend Kara, we saw before we did uh, Frozen Ever After, and then she went on break, and then when we came walking back towards baseline from the construction by Muppets, she was over there. So like she was in a different spot. Like, oh hey, so we were just talking to her. And it's like a quiet day. Like it's not busy. I mean, because there's so few lines. Oh, there's some... I think they're called death troopers. Or... I think they're called death troopers. They're called those aren't storm troopers. But I never knew they're doing a meet and greet here. Wait, where's the stage? Where's the stage? They're probably changing stuff for Christmas. What? Let us know in the comments down below if you know what happened to the stage. This is super weird because we always go up to this road for fan on Phantasmic Fridays for Phantasmic, but we've never done Fast Pass for Beauty and the Beast. So we're gonna give it a try because. I'm not the biggest fan of Fast Passes for like Fantasmic and what else don't I like them for? Just like shows in general. Yeah, and parades. The only one I really liked Because it tells it you where to sit. Right, the only one I, I really like liked it for was for our Wishes when they tried that. But it was just a small section. lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled. Years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? Mm.
ready? Uh, Detective, yeah, I need to make sure all of your personal items are stored properly. Well, thank you, Kara, for helping us get on Rock and Roll Coaster. It was great. I got yelled at for having the camera out before the blast I'm gonna off. I'm going to leave as much as he recorded. I forgot. I don't know at what point that I stopped recording or at what point I brought the camera down and it may have still been recording when I pulled it down. But, yeah, they were like, please sew all personal items away. That includes cameras. That includes cameras. Oopsies. So, everybody watching, when you are about to blast off on a uh, rock and roll coaster, do not have your cell phone or camera or any personal items out. Please have them stowed below. I could be on the ride, I think. That is a cute shirt. I am speed. But look at this over here. There is, let me see if I can get it on the camera. That, that building back there is very tall. That building back there is very new. So this mound of dirt was not here last time we were here. And there is a wall being put up right there's a wall to cover it, to like the side of a building. And I'm a Melrose. It's our Sunday kicker. Our Sunday kicker and extraordinaire because we bought a couch. <laughs> so we have to celebrate that we bought a couch. Here's our bread. Like this bread, Italian spices. This yeah, this is a non alcoholic lime, no hito. So delicious. Uh, surely our server's gonna realize very quickly that she needs to bring more bread. We got our Caesar salads. By the time the Caesar salads came out and the calamari, mm -hmm. the bread was gone. So here's our calamari and dipping sauces. I don't even know what's in there. I don't it know. Still looks like we'll it. find out. Oh my god. And then our Caesar, our Caesar, we love Caesar dressing that Disney uses. Yeah. Super tasty. You I happy? Think, yeah, I'm so happy. Sarah was getting hangry before this. I was <laughs> just eating antsy. <laughs> Ooh, she's gonna risk the sauce that she doesn't know. Yeah. Good? All right, let me dive in. So we figured it out. This is pesto, this is honey, and that's marinara. And they're all very good. I love the peppers and the onions on top of the calamari. I've never had it like that before. So our whole rationalization of this meal was that we were sharing everything. So we, sh we were gonna share this pasta, and we said that, so they split it into two pieces, or two bowls, rather. And it was, what was it called, Peter? The seafood something or other? It's got shrimp and mussels and... Chio pina. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's eat. Ooh, Shirley did it. Shirley, Shirley, Shirley did us in. We weren't gonna get anything, we were just gonna leave. And then she's like, what about a dessert though? Do you just wanna look at it? And Sarah had this like, if Sarah doesn't say no right away, I know the answer is a yes. <laughs> The, the opportunity. Yes, so when she asked and Sarah didn't immediately say no, she just kind of looked at us. I was like, alright, let's see a menu. And now we got these cannolis. <laughs> Take the cannolis. Leave the gun. We didn't close down Magic Kingdom yesterday. But it's kind of like we're almost closing down the studio today because it's been yeah. closed for it's almost like 8.30 or 8.40 right now. So it's we been closed. Full. We are full. That was a good, like, okay, so Peter and I are people where we like to eat, obviously. You guys are aware. Look at me. <laughs> I love to eat. But sometimes we like to try a lot of stuff. A lot of times we like to not spend a ton of money because obviously the lifestyle. So we split everything. We got two appetizers and a meal. And I'm always nervous that we're gonna leave hungry. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. No, we're so both full. full. And I think like portions there were awesome. We would have been food was awesome. We like ate everything off our plate. I think we would have been fine not doing the cannolis, but I'm glad that they were through those three little ones because that was just enough to like really top us off. Fireworks are over. Fantasmic was over like an hour and a half ago. We are empty. I'm just writing that a sappy Instagram post about Eve right now. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh. I like, like this blue aura we have. We have our, our Apple TV for like 
Apple TV is like in screensaver mode, but we're gonna go to bed. It's Sunday night, which means the weekend's over. They always go so fast. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. There's a car alarm going off in our apartment complex, and it is driving our poor little dog nuts right now. Yeah. And she sees a dog outside that's being walked, and I think she thinks that something's wrong with that dog. She's and she's real, she was real stressed. Like she's just like, we'll peek outside, take a lap around the apartment, like huffing and puffing won't let us like console her and she goes back to the window and like repeats it so wish us luck in getting her to calm down but it's good to be home it's good to be home oh and check out special ah. disney yeah they're, uh, they're selling, shirt selling some shirts that's released. starting while you're watching this they should be released right like yeah. the shop opens yeah i'll put when... the link to the spread shirt yes. um we'll talk more about it tomorrow yeah, someone designed it for them it was such a fun project i was yeah. so happy to do it yeah, we're really happy for them Hope all the success in the world with that shop, but check them out, they're really cute. Hey, good night. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>